Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager at Autodesk. In this second tips and tricks on Populate, I want to show you how to create idle areas. Idle areas are basically defined areas where a single or group of people are, are idling. In this scene, you can see both examples of Populate. You can see the flows that we've just reviewed in the first video, as well as the idling areas where people are just hanging around. To create idle areas, you have three options. Your first option is to create an organic shape idle area using the brush. The second option is to create a square or rectangle area. And then your third option is to create a circle idle area. So those are all just shape within which the people will be idling around. So those are your three options of shape. And obviously you'll need to simulate in order to see the characters. And again, the motion of these characters is based on high quality motion data. So they're just kind of idling around, talking to each other, interacting in each other if they're set in a group or if they're set alone, they're like, you know, fiddling with their phone or just kind of like hanging around waiting for something. Now let's delete the characters for now and look at the customization of these idle section. First of all, you can increase or decrease the density. Now within these idle areas, you have single or group. So you can choose the amounts of single versus group people hanging around. Now for the group areas, so I'm going to just make only groups. You can choose if they're groups of two people or groups of three people. So that depends on your need, basically. Or you can have a balance of three people group and two people group as it was set per default. And I'm also going to balance it out with some sim single people. Then again, you can change the ratio of male versus female. You can also change the orientation, but for this particular case, you can only change the orientation of the single people. This is because the people that are set in a group interact with each other. So they have a behavior that relates to each other or the member of their groups. So then again, I'll have to simulate in order to refresh these changes. So now you see that the density has changed and notice that the people in the group interact with each other where the people that are standing alone tend to have a motion that is more independent of the people in their surroundings. Now, keep in mind that it's possible to create these idle areas as well as the flow at different height. And you'll notice that as I am creating these idle section on these different cubes, by default, the idle section will snap to the top of the object. And that is also valid for a flow section if you want. And you can also decide to move the flow or area to the specific height for your need. So now that you have watched tips number one, which show you how to create flows, and tip number two, that shows you how to use idle areas, you can decide which one is more appropriate or a mix of two for your project. Using Populate is a quick and easy way to add a life and a sense of scale to your project.